A fight over a city bike last week has exploded on social media. Now an attorney for the woman in that video is fighting claims circulating online. CBS 2's Dick Brennan joins us now with the latest. Dick. Well, Maurice and Christine, two people both claim they paid for a city bike. One of them, a hospital worker, was coming off her shift and is six months pregnant. Her attorney says she's been unfairly branded, as he puts it, as a Karen. It's a battle over a city bike that's now gone viral. A physician's assistant, Sarah Jane Comery, and a young man both claim the bike outside Bellevue Hospital. Why don't we set, reset the bike? I'm not resetting the bike. It's his, it's his, it's his. The video got national attention when it was posted by civil rights attorney Ben Crump, who wrote, This is unacceptable. A white woman was caught on camera attempting to steal a city bike from a young black man in New York City. She grossly tried to weaponize her tears to paint this man as a threat. This is exactly the type of behavior that has endangered so many black men in the past. The whole narrative that, like, she stole the bike is patently wrong. Comrie's attorney, Justin Marino, says she paid for the bike first, and he produced receipts of her purchase. And he claims in her condition, she would never try to fight over a bike. Do you think any pregnant woman in their right mind would jump on another young man's bike and, like, just scoot away? while they're six months pregnant. A spokesperson for New York City Health and Hospital says that Comrie is now on leave pending a review of the incident. Her attorney says they have no beef with the young man, but object to what Ben Crump wrote. It's appalling that, you know, like race, you know, is somehow like imputed as that being the issue here. As for the young man on tape, he has not been identified. The NYPD says nobody reported the incident to them. Christy. Okay, Dick, thank you.